Year 10 students and parents, as we fast approach 2021, all your research and exploration of possible future pathways will need to develop into decisions. These decisions may change and vary along the way, but we need to start formatting an idea of what Year 11 and 12 will look like for you. Please make your decisions based on what is best for you. These decisions will involve which subjects in Year 11 and 12 will help you navigate life after school. For some, this will lead straight into employment. For others, it will involve further training. The video, What is a VCE course, will explain how the Victorian Certificate of Education is structured. In interviews on August the 10th and 12th, we will discuss with you and your family the subjects best suited to you in individual course counselling sessions. For some students, your, your VCE may include a VET or alternative qualification, which allows you to combine practical experience with school-based subjects. This is very motivating for some students and helps to make their learning relevant. The information shared with you now in this video, we hope, will help you understand what options are available to you if you wish to gain practical experience and qualifications. For students looking for alternatives, there are vocational options available within the VCE for students to diversify their VCE program. This presentation introduces a couple of these options, which are of a vocational nature. Let's start with VCE VET. VET is short for Vocational Education and Training. There are a broad range of courses to choose from in VCE VET. You can see that they combine career-based programs within a VCE program, giving dual accreditation. So a student gains credit towards their VCE, as well as getting the external qualification. VET courses can lead to further related study, often at TAFE, or to related employment. They might also just help cater for a student's interests or skills. So what are a student's VET options while studying a VCE program here at Cathedral College? Well, next year we'll be running two VCE VET courses here in school. These are in Sport and Recreation and Information, Digital Media and Technology. Students may also enrol in other VET courses from a range of other providers, including GoTAFE, who usually run about a half a dozen courses each year in VET. How does it run for students? How does it look? Well, if they're doing one of the courses here, the two courses, the ones in Sport and Recreation or IT, they'll feel like just another VCE subject for most of the time, and they'll be included on the student's timetable. Other providers will have their own arrangements. For example, at the TAFE, it usually requires the students to go one day a week at TAFE. This, of course, impacts on some of their other timetable requirements, but we work around that and students get some spare periods to try and make up any study lost time. Some courses also are just delivered online, even some of the TAFE courses, and there are other providers who operate this way. That's just a snapshot of that. If you want more information, I suggest you get Googling or come and ask one of us here at Cathedral College. SBATs or school-based apprenticeships are another vocational alternative as part of a VCE program. As you can see, they have many similarities with the VET program. And the qualifications are basically the same. So how are they different, you might ask? Well, the main difference is that SBATs are work-based placed, so the student is in the workplace usually one day a week. And because they're in a workplace working, they also get paid, which should be a bonus for many. How do you start one? Well, what you need really more than anything else to commence a school-based apprenticeship or traineeship is a suitable employer. Some students and maybe their families might know of someone or the school or an employment agency might also be able to help you find a suitable workplace. And if it's something you can be done as an apprenticeship or a traineeship, that usually means you can do it as a school-based option as well. And these school-based can start at any time during the school year as long as the student is at least 15 years old. Ideally, they would run concurrently with the, with the school year because they fit in better with the rest of the student's program that way. But they don't have to. If a suitable employer comes along at any time, then we can 
get the wheels in motion. And there's plenty more to be found out about school-based apprenticeships. Also, uh, you can Google, you go straight here if you, if you do so, and you'll get a comprehensive guide, or you can speak to one of us here at Cathedral College. Thank you for listening. Hi, I'm Kel Vincent from GoTAFE. I'm a youth engagement officer within the Student Pathways team. And I'm here to talk to you about alternative pathways for your alternative pathway selections. Um, Goulburn Oven Institute of TAFE is the largest training provider in the Goulburn Northeast region of Victoria, with more than 16,000 students enrolled annually. We offer training across certificate, all the way up to diploma level courses, short courses, pre-apprenticeships, traineeships, apprenticeships and specialised industry training. GoTAFE offers you practical opportunities to advance your education and career options, build your skills from pathways to certificate to diploma level, be part of your community, live and learn locally. As part of your course selection, as mentioned by Mr Dunbar, you may be referring to VET DSS or Vocational Education and Training Delivered to Secondary Students. A VET DSS program or qualifications can be completed alongside your Year 10 v or VCE studies and give you the opportunity to explore and gain new skills in the industries and career pathways that interest you. As a VET DSS student, you'll attend classes at GoTAFE one day a week in Wangaratta and you'll combine VET DSS with your normal VCE studies. Your VET DSS course can contribute towards your ATAR depending on the course you enrol in. If you do enrol in a VET DSS course, you must be referred through your careers coordinator, that would be Mr Dunbar. And if you would like more information regarding the courses available through GoTAFE for VET DSS, please refer to the links on this course page.